Okay then, so another thing I want to show you is how to use the Navigate component to redirect users based on certain conditions. For example, if you wanted to redirect someone not logged in, you could do a quick authentication check using some kind of global state or other. And if that was null, meaning the user is not logged in, then you could return a Navigate component to redirect a user away from any given page. So it's pretty useful for protecting front-end pages this way. Although I have to say that if you want to protect any data from unauthenticated users, then that needs to primarily be locked down on the server side. Redirecting users on the front end is just adding a bit of dusting sugar to the cake for a better user experience. But any data access control needs to be done primarily on the back end. But anyway, let's try using this navigate component inside the about page. So we're not really going to do any kind of authentication check right here because we've not got an authentication system. But what I am going to do is just kind of simulate that by making some local state inside this component and we'll call it user and we have a function to set the user as well. And let's use some state. So use state and we'll set an initial value to be Mario, which is just like a username, right? Now, what we're going to do is have a button down in the template, which updates that state to be null. So essentially like logs them out. So we'll have a button and we will say a log out inside that. We need to add a click. Handler, so on click is equal to a function which is going to fire and that will set the user using that function up here and it's going to set the value to null. So basically, by clicking this button, we're simulating a user logging out. We have a value for the user to begin with, but then when we click this, we no longer have a value for the user, right? Now, say at that moment when the user logs out, we want to redirect the user. Well, we can just do an if check right here and say if not user then we want to do something. And all I want to do is return something right here. So if we return something right here, then we're not going to return this template. Instead, we return whatever we output here. And I want to return a navigate component, which is built into React Router DOM. So it imports it up there and we can just say where we want to navigate to. So that's going to be to forward slash like so. All right then. So this is going to navigate the user to the home page when we don't have a value for user. So to begin with, when the first page, uh, sorry, when the page first loads, we have a value and so we don't return this. When we click on the button and we set that to null, we don't have a value, so we return this. So let's give this a whirl. Before we do that though, quite clearly, we need to import use state. So let's do that, import use states and that comes from React. All right, so now let's try this. All right, so if we head to the about component, we can see this page. So we have a value for the user, but when we log out, we're gonna return that redirect or rather navigate component and we redirect them back to the home page. Now, if we go back on this thing right here, then we should go back to the about page. And that's because it's preserving this in the history, okay? Now, if we log out again, it's gonna redirect us. And if we go back again, then we go back to the About Us page. So this is preserving this page in the history right here. But if you want to replace this page in the history, you can do that. So the way we do this is really, really simple. We just need to set replace equal to true. Dead simple. And now that's going to replace this with this page, the About page in the history. So if we try going back, then you won't get to the About page. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is go to the help page first of all, right? And then the about page, and then I'm going to log out. Now that navigates us back to the home page. And if I click on the back button, we go back to the help page, not the about one. And that's because the home page replaced the about page in the history. So we can't go back to that about page now. So that's the navigate component, really useful when you just want to navigate the user to different pages dependent on certain conditions. This was just one example using some kind of authentication check. And that, my friends, is the end of the series. So I really hope you've enjoyed this series and that you've learned something along the way. And hopefully you're going to be in a good place now to start using the React Router and all the different features it offers in your own projects. 
So then my friends, I really, really hope you enjoyed this series and you learned something along the way. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And if you want to access all of my YouTube courses without adverts, also get access to premium courses and early access courses as well, you can do at netninja.dev. You can sign up for NetNinja Pro, which is just $9 a month and also half price for the first month with this promo code right here and for that like i said you get access to every course without adverts without youtube adverts you also get access to exclusive courses not found anywhere else you get access to my premium courses on udemy and also early access to all of my youtube courses as well so the link to this page to sign up is going to be down below again i really hope you enjoyed this series and i'm going to see you in the very next one